Okay, so <clears throat> throughout this presentation, we're just going to show you uh, four or five different things that we do in the run and pass game, and we're going to show you different ways of how we're going to present it to the defense. Um, it may be a shift. It may be a motion. Uh, it may be a formation. But the bottom line is that we're going to give you something different than what you haven't seen before. We're going to have two or three different ways to present it in a game that you have not seen before. And we're going to run the same formation that you saw before, but run something different out of it. And uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do as we're running uh, and showing you this, uh, this presentation. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is show you uh, one of our base run schemes that we run. It's, it's essentially what colleges and pros and high schools call duo. Uh, we call it a tough play. And we're going to show you uh, different ways that we run it, different ways that we're going to present it to a defense. So I just want to get to the end zone copy first. So the premise of this play is just our, our, our duel, which I'm sure a lot of people run. Uh, it's essentially trying to get two double teams up front with, without a puller. So this is basically a power play without a puller. You see the two double teams taken care of. Our back is going to hit it just like he would at a gap power. And he's going to read that front side linebacker. And he's going to puncture it away from the inside linebacker. So this inside linebacker goes out. He's going to puncture it inside. He stays in. He's going to go out. But what we try to do is we try to present it with different looks by our perimeter people. Because of the nature of the play, we have got to find a way to block the edge. So we're, we're going to try to show a different couple different ways to block the edge. And you can see on this particular one, we are going to have our H back block out and then our receiver are going to block in motion. He's going to go ahead and block the safety. If we don't block that safety, uh, he's going to be a free runner. So we have to find a way to get a hat on him, which we do here. Now that you've seen the base premise of the play, we'll show you different ways that we're going to get into it. So in this particular one, we have a trips formation to the boundary. We have it tied into the top of the screen. We're going to take one of our wide receivers, and that, re that wide receiver is going to be responsible for that safety defender. The H back is going to block out and we're going to run the ball downhill. Double team, read the front side inside linebacker, puncture it where he's not. Same play, different look, still got trips to the boundary. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to insert different way of getting to the free safety. We're going to have the H back block out. And this could be an extra tight end if you wish, but now it's going to insert and we're going to get the same result. Offensive line, getting that double team. Two doubles at the point of attack. And now you see that back, that, the, that our back is, that linebacker that the back is reading. He decides to stay inside. And our back's going to take it outside. 
Watch the insert. Gives us a nice clean look for what we want to try to do. If he's forced to cut it out, we've got that taken care of. All right, now with the, uh, what we're, we're talking about is just putting a lipstick on a pig. We're gonna run the exact same play, but now we're just gonna give him a different look. We're gonna yank the tight end. And now we're gonna motion another H back. It's gonna put us in the same configuration that we had on the previous two plays, but it's presented totally different to the defense. Also gives us a little bit of an unbalanced look here. So here we go. Yank the tight end. Here comes the motion. This is just a toughness play for us. We, if we get four or five yards out of this play, we're happy with it. And that's exactly what we get out here. Get a nice four yard gain. Show you the different way how we're going to present it. We just want to change the picture to the defense. Yank the tight end over. Now we are in the same look that we were in the, the previous two plays that we saw that we that we showed you before. Offensive rules never change. We keep it simplistic for the guys up front. We're multiple with our skill guys. Now we run it to the field. Still have a uh, tight end on the back side of the trips. Going to bring that wide receiver in. And you can see he's going to insert inside. So three different looks right now of how we're presenting the play. Good downhill run. Without getting into the real specifics of the play, we had a good double team by the right guard and center. Backside here is running gap gap. Now this particular time we're running it, this is a whole different look because this is an unbalanced front that we're presenting to the defense. So we have a guard, tackle, tackle instead of that tight end. So we got a little bit more weight right here. We feel like uh, we needed a bigger body to block out on this guy here. We're still going to insert. I'm sorry, we're going to block out and insert. And so now we have an unbalanced front guard, tackle, tackle with our tight end now on the backside. Fourth different way of running the play. Same way, we get the insert, take care of the second level defender. Really got good job by the back and having great vision. All our back is doing is reading this backer right here. Backer wants to sit inside, he's gonna bounce it. And that is why it's really important for us to be able to scheme up the defense with how we're going to go ahead 
and handle these edge edge defenders and the third level defender who's responsible for fitting the run. Another way to present it. Now we have a bunch set right here, unbalanced. So we're looking at a bunch set to the left with a wide receiver. Everything's going to stay the same for our lineman. Same downhill play. Get a better look at, the, at what we're trying to do. So before, if you remember, we were running this without a wide receiver here. Now we have three plus one. We've removed this corner out. And we still have a hat for a hat for the safety that's coming downhill. Here you see the insert. Downhill play, another way of presenting it. Another way of running unbalanced, guard, tackle, tackle. Little view right here. Same way, same way we ran it the other play, except now We've taken our tackle over. So now we got a bigger body right here that can handle that. Everything else is going to be the same. Two H backs just have to sort it out. Number 39's got to see what number eight's going to do. He goes up, take care of the safety. And now number 39 takes care of, care of the, uh, the edge defender. So all, we, all we've wanted to do is get a bigger body. In this game, the way they were, they were defending us, it was really important that we had a bigger body because we knew we weren't gonna get a double team out of this guy. So we moved our tackle over get the double team on the inside of him, but the bigger body now had to take care of the end where maybe we didn't think a tight end could. So now we just get a, a tackle over, put the tight end on the backside. Same thing, other, other side. Just to show you the versatility that we can in our offense, just by, by one word, we can move our tackle down. So there's essentially seven different ways that uh, you can run it. Here's another way of running our dual play. to the end zone copy. Now we're just on a motion into that, really that tight trips look. Get a good double team. We do take care of the perimeter. We get a nice game. 